you can never apply for too many companies and you really want it to where you start turning people down. In today's video, we're gonna tell you guys how to become a field inspector, okay? Now, with being a field inspector, it's very easy and simple. The first things, we're gonna take you guys all the way back to the basics just to kind of give you some groundwork. <laughs> See what I did there? You guys are gonna find about groundwork a little bit later, but we're just gonna take you out with some groundwork on how to become a field inspector, all right? So with the minimum requirements needed to become a field inspector is first, you have to be at least 18 years of age, right? All right, so with that, you need a car, okay? A cell phone that <laughs> does have great cell phone coverage because I can tell you now, when I've been out there in those country bumpkin back town streets, sometimes I you even lose service. service yeah, I will lose service. And it makes it frustrating because it kind of makes your job a little bit harder because now you have to try to figure out how you got into this area so you can get back to civilization. <laughs> but then of course, if you're trying to actually do your work there. Yeah, so with submitting my report, I usually do it right there on the property before I leave. I start it before I get out of the car and then I finish it when I get back in the car, uh, just to kind of minimize the contact as well as minimizing people seeing a strange person on their property, you know? And I mean, I don't want to, Alert. Again. Get out. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. So to be a field inspector, there are a couple of things that are not needed. Okay. You do not need a certificate or a license to be a field inspector. Now, one of the things that they do prefer is someone that's already in, this, in the industry as in real estate, a notary, or even in insurance adjuster. So all of those things I, I can check my box on. But not all of them require it. Right. Not all of them require it. It's just preferred. Right. So uh, when you're applying for these companies that I'm gonna give you a list of, make sure that you look at the fine print as far as what their criteria is or what they require, because you don't wanna waste time applying for somebody that you're unqualified for, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so first things first, y'all, when trying to become a field inspector first, I would recommend that you guys apply to a website called SoFi. SoFi is a platform database system that's kind of like a signing service to signing agents. Now, with SoFi, it allows- What about a signing service to signing agents? Are you just comparing it? Yeah, I'm comparing Like Notary, Rotary, or one Yeah, I'm comparing okay, it. Okay. It's a platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a database that you can- But just for field inspectors? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is only for field inspectors. Mm -hmm. Now, with SoFi, it's one of those things where after you're in the database, you start getting uh, requests from different vendors that request your services. And from there, you never know what the uh, client might require, but you know that most of the time they're gonna start giving you volume. And when that volume come, what's gonna come? That money, you know what I'm saying? So, and like I said, SoFi is the first company that you wanna, wanna uh, apply for. And SoFi is actually an acronym. The acronym stands for Society of Field Inspectors. See, I mean, you know, I, I, yeah. But anyway, so the first company is SoFi, right? The next company is gonna be Sandcastle. Now with Sandcastle, they were one of the first ones that I got on with when I first started doing the field inspector work. In the beginning, they didn't really send me that much volume, but the difference between them and some of the other companies that sent me a lot of volume, but the tickets for the inspectors were a little bit cheaper than what I was used to and based off of the business being able to negotiate prices just because it's in high demand, I was able to renegotiate some of the prices that Sandcastle offered to us. Mm -hmm. Well, not me per se, it was really Maya. She was the woman behind the man. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> she was able to help me out with getting increased earnings with Sandcastle and Sandcastle is really nice. Now, I okay, think Sandcastle is the one that you actually have your first uh, vehicle inspections. Yes, yes. So this week coming up, I have my first vehicle inspection with Sandcastle. Now, with sand departments, it's a little bit different. Like for uh, property inspections, it only takes about three to five photos. Now, with Sandcastle, I have to take 
uh, I would say about 12 photos in total. Now, if you guys want in further detail, those photos I would take is the front address, the address number of the property that I'm going to, as well as- Are you talking about for the residential properties? No, I'm talking about the vehicle. Oh. So for the, the vehicle- front address? Yeah, I have to take the address, a picture of the address where the vehicle is located just so I can oh, show them okay, that I'm okay, at the proper okay. location, right? Mm -hmm. um, because they don't have a geo tracker like some of the other companies. Now, I, after I show them that I, or verify that I'm at the proper address, I go to the vehicle, I take a four point photo of the, of the vehicle that they want me to inspect. I take a picture of the VIN number, any damages that may be on the vehicle, as well as a brief description and outline of a story that illustrates what damages I observe, right? So from there, they want two photos of the interior. And after that, I have to get the name of the person that I spoke with, uh, whether it's at a junkyard or body shop, or if it's at a residential or commercial property. So at that point, that concludes my report and I can send it off and everything's complete. How easy does that sound? Yeah, and for that, I think that inspection is $35. And, and if you actually inspect the vehicle, you actually got paid 45 for an actually inspecting vehicle. See, I told y'all, I don't really be knowing. You know, <laughs> she's the woman behind the man, y'all. So, so the next company that I work with for field inspector work is gonna be called S2. Now with S2, I haven't necessarily done anything yet with them, because they have the commercial properties and I'm gonna be looking forward to working with them this week to get those commercial properties taken care of. And those commercial properties, you're actually getting paid 75 for one and then 95 for another. So those ones are more. Yeah, so because the, one of the reasons why it's gonna be more is because it's gonna require more photos, right? Because you're doing a bigger property, so it's gonna require more photos as well as illustrations with descriptions just to say, um, everything is running how it should be, right? Now, with commercial properties, I do know that they require a minimum of 25 photos. They want um, seven exterior, six of the common areas that they go to, and at least eight units. Now, with those eight units, of course, they want you to take a photo of each room, right? So in total, I'm guessing anywhere between the eight units and the seven and the six of the common area, I'm pretty sure it's gonna amount to about 25 or more, right? So uh, that's gonna be SoFi, Sandcastle, and S2, right? So the next company is gonna be Photo Inspection. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about Photo Inspection before. They're really easy too. Yeah, they're you really have easy. You to drop a letter off with them. Mm -hmm. Nope, mm -hmm. just have to take a photo, that's it. Now, the thing about them, I would say that with when you're first starting off, it depends on your area that you're in for all of these companies though, right? Because in certain areas, they might have a higher demand or they might need you to do a little bit more, all right? So it's up to you to be, uh, it's up to you to be accurate when it comes to following directions and what they need because just like a notary signing agent, if you miss a signature, you have to go back out there. So with the photos, if you miss one, you have to go back out there. And I ain't trying to miss that. Like, I, I can't do it, y'all. Like, I just told y'all in the last video, I spent $80 for two days traveling, right? I mean, even though the return on investment was there, I, mean, I, I ain't trying to go back out there. there. <laughs> but, so, this video here, guys, it was just something quick just to got, guide you into becoming a field inspector and just giving you a few companies that you can start off with. Now. With me naming a few of them that I currently work with and look forward to working with in the future, there also there is also gonna be a few other companies that we're gonna list. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all a list of some of the companies that are the top field inspector companies to work with, right? Now, with this list, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're high in demand in your area, but it could be beneficial just to have them on your team, right? So. Just off the top, you have SoFi, Sandcastle, S2, and Photo Inspection. Now, the next ones are gonna be Metro Inspection, We Go Look, Safeguard, Spectrum, Mortgage Field, Comply Track, 
and trend source. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, or any other field inspector companies that you guys want to throw out there for the masses, oh, go yeah, ahead. Oh, Groundworks, and you're actually going to oh, yeah. receive work from them. Um, mm -hmm. You have a lot of them, but you just haven't started receiving work yet, but mm -hmm. for Groundworks, you actually yeah, and like I was saying, groundworks. You know, we're trying to get this field inspector work and the groundwork for it, the basics. We actually learn about groundwork from somebody in our comments in one of the previous videos. Now, we appreciate you guys for giving us that information because now I'm working with them and I'm looking forward to having more than enough of volume from groundworks. And it seems pretty simple. And that's one of the ones that Mayu was saying that they pay about 75 to $90 per inspection. And that's gonna be commercial as well. I think they might offer some vehicle, but- um, Well, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if they just do commercial, but that's what they have available in your area. So that's why you do wanna to apply to- As, as many. many. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as many as you can, just because. You don't know which ones are gonna be. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was saying, you know, what's in demand and what's not. So you let them tell you that they don't have any work in that area. Because mm -hmm. other than that, you can never apply for too many companies. And you really want it to where you start turning people down because I don't know what some of these companies think. They want me to be a field inspector full time. <laughs> but anybody got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Like my first no priority is, first. yeah. Well, actually, our Airbnb business is first. We haven't even talked really. Well, about you know, Airbnb. just stay tuned, y'all, because we got a lot of content that we want to give to y'all and some sauce. You know what I'm saying? So y'all could build y'all own dynasty, right, Gold Moms? Mm -hmm. But uh, going forward, I don't think that we have anything else for this video. Do you have anything? Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, all right, gold miners, we appreciate y'all. Dyson Dynasty, out. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. 